Good morning, YouTube. You guys know I promised I was going to go back and make sure to start working on undone readings. Some of these probably have had refunds, especially because there was a lot of troll um, readings mixed in and I have no way to know what's what. So we'll just do them for advertising. How about that? This one is for, I believe it was for a Kelly. Yep, a Kelly L. Uh, if this is your video um, and you remember paying for this reading and you want to privatize, just reach out. In the meantime, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to do this as a general. First card that fell is actually today's card, which is the Empress. Fertility definitely is uh, the forefront here. I'm wondering if you're trying to get pregnant or if it there's somebody in your family who's about to announce a pregnancy or if you're working on something um maybe something a, a craft project or a work project that is actually going to go pretty good for you and the reason i lean more towards a work project out of all of this would be the next two cards, the nine and seven, well, the nine of cups and seven of wands. These two cards make me feel like definitely we are talking about a work project or another um, extremely important to you type of thing. We may even be talking about a wedding with the card that just fell out, but let's, let's, let's take our time here. So there's definitely anxiety sleepless nights you're extremely worried even though you're okay you're fine the seven of wands says you're protected and the ace of earth or pentacles the mystical cats has it as earth the ace of pentacles says that not only are you going to do great but this is a good life choice and it's going to at least be prosperous to begin with um so to start out yes this is great we're doing good. This is a perfect idea. However, I have the Wheel of Fortune and we all know how that turns and how that can put us right from the top to the bottom and back. The next card is the Four of Swords and the Four of Swords says just take care of yourself mentally, physically, emotionally. Make sure you are your own forefront. Do not let anything or anybody come between you and you. Period. The next card is the card that makes me say maybe there's a wedding coming up is the Emperor. This is the total male counterpart to the Empress, but he's more of a breadwinner. He's more of that, I want to provide, I want to be that big macho man type of energy where the Empress is all about, you know, that feminine motherhood, home and hearth and or hearth type energy. So you guys would be a perfect match and of course, what else could that speak of but a wedding? So, in typical tarot fashion, when two cards go together in such a way, this is what we get. Um, if it's not a wedding, it could be maybe more commitment or a new relationship forming. I do have the tower, and that makes me wonder if maybe the anxiety is because of this relationship. You've just come out of a breakup, or you've had a breakup recently, that wasn't easy on you at all. No breakup is, but this one was especially hard. And it's left you depressed. It's left you just feeling like this snappy, snarly, crabby person who's used to being alone. And so you've been afraid to open up and to be with this person or to give another person another chance. Um, So now that we've gone through the initial, this, you know, I can iron out the wrinkles. Definitely, I feel like relationship or work here, because definitely bonds are at question. Um, don't let that, that history, that badness, that breakup or whatever that was hold you back, please. This is a very good choice for you here. 
I know it doesn't feel like it, but that's depression speaking more than anything. Don't let it hold you back. Please, babe, don't let it hold you back. Um, oh, and as far as the hermit, the one thing with the hermit is that it is a spiritual lesson in there. So you will come out a better, more spiritual person, more spiritually aware, and um, more... More of learning the lessons of life, basically. Okay? Now, for those of you who've never watched me before, um, not all of my readings are so disjointed. Um, I feel like the energies in this one were just very disjointed and it kind of just threw me. But I do do readings every day here and on TikTok. I also do private readings. All the information you need for getting them is in the description box below. Um, I am working on rebuilding this channel. This is now becoming more of like a tarot and a vlog channel. Um, so come get to know me, hang out, and I'd love to get to know you. On TikTok, I call you all my friends and family. Let's carry that over here. Sounds good to me. Um, like I said, check that description box. A little, a little long, but worth the read. Plenty of information, plenty of questions answered before you can ask. And if you want your own reading, directions on how are down there. Also, I'll have a link where you can get your own copy of this deck of cards. Until next time, I hope everybody stays safe and healthy. And I will hopefully see you all very, very soon. Bye, guys.